Dear learners, welcome to MSBT online learning platform, MSBT Lead, Learning at Your Doorsteps. I am Mrs. Sonali Sharigar, Lecturer in Electronics and Telecommunication Department at Agnel Polytechnic, Navi Mumbai. Unit 5 of course, 22426 is Applications of 805N Microcontroller. The unit outcome is Program 805N for given application. The learning objective of this presentation is to develop assembly language program for temperature control system. We will see the steps to program microcontroller 805N for temperature control system and by following the steps, we will design an assembly language program for temperature measurement and control. The concept map of temperature measurement and control is very simple. First, read the temperature, then compare the red temperature that is the current temperature with a set point. If the current temperature is less than set point or greater than set point, take the appropriate control action to either turn on or turn off the heating element or the cooling element and repeat this cycle or the process continuously. These are steps to program microcontroller 805N for temperature measurement and control. As we have seen in the previous video lecture, we are using a temperature sensor LM35 whose output is connected to ADC. The ADC converts this analog input from LM35 into a digital form which is then given to a microcontroller which executes the program to measure the temperature and compare it with the set point and take the appropriate controlling action. The first step is to select one of the ADC input channel where LM35 is connected by sending appropriate signal on address select lines A, B and C. After sending the signal on the address lines ABC, activate a pin of the ADC to latch the channel address. Next, activate the start of conversion pin by an high to low pulse to initiate the conversion process. Once the conversion process has started, we need to monitor the end of conversion signal to check whether the conversion is over. After the conversion gets over, activate the output enable signal to read the converted data out of the ADC chip. Once the data is available on the pins of the ADC chip, that data is read by microcontroller and then compare the red data corresponding to the red temperature with the set point. Let's say for example 50. If the red data which corresponds to the red temperature is less than the set point, set the port pin high to turn on the heating element else if it is found that the red data is greater than or equal to the set point clear the port pin to turn off the heating element then repeat steps 3 to 9 continuously so let us understand the program for temperature control address a bit p2.0 address b bit p2.1 address c bit p2.0 this is going to assign the label address A, address B, address C to pins P2.0, P2.1 and P2.2. We know that in the hardware connections, address A, address B and address C pins of ADC are connected to port pins P2.0, P2.1 and P2.2 of microcontroller. Similarly, SC bit P2.3, ALE bit P2.4, OE bit P2.5 and EOC bit P2.6 is assigning the labels SC, ALE, OE and EOC to the port pins P2.3, 2.4, 2.5 and P2.6 of microcontroller 8051. These are as per the hardware connections. We are using a label my data for port 1. As port 1 is connected to data pins of ADC, we are calling that as my data. CLR ALE clears the ALE pin. That means here in our program, CLR ALE clears the P2.4 pin of 805N and P2.4 pin of 805N is connected to ALE pin of ADC. So, the ALE signal is cleared. It becomes 0. Next, move my data, comma hash 0FFH is going to make port 1 of 805N as input pin. Because at port 1, the data pins of ADC are connected, 
port 1 is configured as input port. Set the EOC. Set the EOC signal. CLRSC clears the start of conversion signal. CLROE clears the output enable signal. CLR address C, CLR address A, CLR address B is going to make C equal to 0, B equal to 0 and A equal to 0 which selects the analog input channel 0 of ADC. After some delay, ALE pin is set high. So in the earlier slide, ALE was cleared. Now ALE is set high so the address gets latched. Then again a delay is called. So in the previous slide, we have seen that the SC signal was cleared. Now the SC signal is set. So set B SC will start the conversion. After some time, CLR ALE, CLR SC, the ALE pin and SC pins are cleared. So here we are giving a pulse to SC and a pulse to CLR pin. Now, once the conversion has started, we need to wait till the conversion gets over. So JB EOC comma here. So jump if EOC bit is high, jump on the same line, checks the status of EOC bit. So assuming that initial conversion has got over and EOC was high, so we are just waiting on that line. Once EOC becomes 0, again we are checking JNB EOC comma here 1. So as long as EOC is not set, just wait for the conversion, the current conversion to get over. The moment the current conversion gets over, the program control is transferred to set BOE, which makes the OE signal high. As a result, the output of ADC gets enabled and the converted digital output is made available on the output digital pins of ADC. After some time, this output Digital output of ADC which is available on the digital pins of ADC and the digital pins of ADC are connected to port 1. So right now the converted data is available on the pins of port 1. So move A comma my data is going to move or send the data from port 1 to accumulator. So we are reading port 1 here. So the converted data which is available on the port 1 is moved inside register A. Now, A contains the converted data of ADC. From register A, the converted data is moved to port 3 where we can connect a display device or LEDs to check the converted data. CLROE clears the output enable signal of ADC. The converted data which is corresponding to the red temperature is available in register A. So, CJNE A, hash 50 is comparing the red temperature with a set point let's say 50. If they are not equal, if they are not equal, the program control goes down. So if A is not equal to 50, either it will be less than 50 or greater than 50. So JC jump if carry, jump if carry flag is set. After comparing A with 50, if A is less than 50, the carry flag will be set. Otherwise, if A is greater than 50 or equal to 50 the carry flag will be reset so jc on means if the carry is set go to label on so assuming that the data in a let's say is less than 50 as a result carry flag will be set because the data in a is a red temperature and because it is less than 50 the controlling action taken is set b p 2.7 at pin P2.7, a relay and a heating element or a cooling element is connected. So, let's say heating element is connected. So, because the red temperature is less than 50, set B P2.7 will make the relay on. As a result, the heating element is made on. Again, on the next line, S jump back goes to the previous instruction. Again, gives a start of conversion pulse. Again, the whole process is started. And the data, the new temperature is red. Again, the data in A is compared with 50. Now, let's say it is found that the data in A which is temperature is greater than 50. So, the instruction JC on will not jump to label on. Instead, it goes on the next line CLR P2.7. As a result of which, the relay is turned off and the heating element is off. And again, the whole process is repeated. 
in this way this program reads the temperature and takes the controlling action also click on the link below to watch video of temperature controller dear learners attempt mcq set 1 thank you